Consumer prices continued their upward trend in February, rising for the second consecutive month to reach 5.6%. This figure is slightly higher than the 5.3% recorded in January and brings consumer inflation closer to the upper limit of the central bank's target range of 3% to 6%. However, it also moves further away from the preferred comfort zone of 4.5% for the South African Reserve Bank Governor Lesicha Kanyakho. The main contributors to this increase were housing, utilities, transport and other goods and services, particularly insurance. Although food inflation slowed down, a closer analysis of the stats essay data reveals higher prices for everyday items such as coffee and tea, highlighting the impact of global commodity pressures on the daily lives of South Africans. FNB senior economist Koketso Manu shares her analysis. We have received the latest inflation data uh, for the month of February 2024. Uh, we saw headline inflation lifting to 5.6% from 5.3% previously. We had monthly pressure of 1%, which was mainly driven by core inflation. Uh, you would have seen the latest medical insurance survey outcomes coming in, uh, that number sitting at 12.9% year on year. What would have also added to inflationary pressure is uh, your fuel price increases uh, that happened in that month. So we also have inflation uh, on fuel um, sitting at 3% percent month on month. Um, fortunately, food inflation uh, continued to decelerate. We see that number sitting at 6.1 percent versus 7.2 uh, percent previously. Uh, we had meat deflation, fruits and vegetables, uh, countering some inflation on, on cereals, uh, dairy and eggs, and uh, non-alcoholic beverages. Going forward, we think inflation could settle at 5.5 percent in March, uh, but we will still have meaningful month on month pressure, which will be driven by uh, your survey outcomes on education, for example, your first quarter outcomes for how Housing. Um, and we also remain concerned about uh, food inflation going towards the middle of the year, especially given the adverse weather patterns and how that has affected crop estimates. Um, we think that the MPC is probably going to continue to flag this upside risk to inflation, uh, but we think that interest rates will remain unchanged at the upcoming meeting.